Today, traditional banks are facing the most pertinent challenge, the fact that they were established in a brick and mortar era. Banks have branches all over the country, all over the cities, all over the towns. They occupy expensive real estate. They're dealing with mortgages and leaseholds, insurances. They have personnel manning these banks. When was the last time you went into your bank branch? I went in last week because I was going to take some money out of the ATM machine. They only offered a drive-through ATM machines. There were two lanes. There were five cars lined up in each one. I said, you know what? I'm going inside. Let me see what's happening. I go into the bank. There's three or four bank employees sitting around. There wasn't one single customer. This was the middle of a Tuesday. I went in. I went to the teller. I gave him my card. He gave me a slip. I signed it off and I got my money. And I was shocked. And I said, is it always this quiet in here? She looked at me. She looked down and she said, yes, Mr. Mandel. It's really, really quiet. Traditional banks have no choice but to close or shutter old branches most branches thousands and thousands of branches that are so costly move more to the online space i do all my banking online today i bet you do too or at least the majority of it and that's a huge hit to be carrying all that real estate it's a huge problem imagine the balance sheet when they get rid of it they take it off they no longer have to declare it and pay for it and own it and they can move strictly to an online or digital platform that has virtually no cost that's the real challenge today to make that transformation solely to digital